What is up everybody, I am Get Flanked, and Ubisoft asked if I would be willing to create some tip videos for this channel that are designed to help players grasp the new content coming with Operation Void Edge. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna be going over five things that you need to know about the Oregon rework. This video is gonna be designed to help players grasp what all has changed in this Oregon rework so that you'll be able to hit the ground running the first time that you see it. Now, just a little bit about me before we get into the tips. I am a Rainbow Six Siege YouTuber and streamer. I've been playing this game since the beta, and my content mainly focuses on game improvement. I pride myself in being able to relate with what the average Rainbow Six Siege player is going through, and my content mainly focuses on helping those players get better and enjoy the game more. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump straight into five things you need to know about the Oregon rework. Okay, the first thing that you need to be aware of on the newly reworked Oregon is that they added a new staircase. And we're looking at this staircase right now, but this is something that you definitely need to be aware of as both an attacker and defender, so you can utilize this new staircase. And just to give you a frame of reference as far as where we're at on the map, this staircase right here is what most people refer to as the white stairs. And it's a staircase uh, on the old Oregon that comes up into the dormitory here, okay? Uh, it looks a little bit different now because again, we're on the rework, but this is the white stairs and directly underneath of the um, old white stairs is the new staircase. And most people are gonna call these freezer stairs or maybe you call them lower uh, white stairs that could work as well. But as we go, as we go down here, you see it kind of opens up into this uh, like freezer area here. And right here's the freezer door that comes out into the basement. And what we're looking at right here would be one of the bomb sites on the basement objective, the uh, laundry objective, and then right here is the other one. So hopefully you understand where we're at right now and can see how important this staircase is going to be. Uh, another reason that it's important is because there's a wall right here. Now, uh, normally you'll probably see this wall reinforced if the defense is actually down here. Uh, but as an attacker, this is important because if you open this wall while attacking this objective, you're going to get a lot of control just from opening this wall. You can see over into there, which is a very strong position for defenders. Uh, usually there's a rotate over there that you can cut off. So this wall is going to be really important to both uh, defense and attack when defending this uh, object objective. Beyond just when the objective is downstairs, this staircase is going to be important because it's going to allow defenders to rotate. It's going to give them another uh, place to rotate when they're on this side of the map. If they're in the small tower area, which is over there, if they're in the dining area over here or the kitchen, then they will be able to use that staircase to rotate and evade attackers. Uh, attackers will be able to use it to rotate to other parts of the maps as well. So uh, probably the most important change here is this staircase and definitely something you need to be aware of. Okay, for the second thing that you need to know about the Oregon rework, we're going to talk about this doorway right here, and this is brand new. Where I'm at right now is in the upstairs part of the map, and this is uh, known as like the dorms area. This is known as kids. Uh, over here is master bedroom, and this doorway right here is brand new, and what it does is it connects this attic area with this side of the map on the upstairs part. Now, previously, the attic would end in just a soft wall right there. This whole area over here did not exist. So now you still have this soft wall right here, but you also have a doorway as well as another soft wall right here that leads directly into the B site. Now, before there used to be a ladder right here, okay? And it would connect you with the meeting room. So obviously that's not there anymore. There is no longer a ladder that connects meeting with this attic area. That ladder used to be pretty much like right over there. So you need to know that that's obviously not there anymore. Uh, if you're orcs, you can still make it up uh, up by going up the hatch. But uh, any other defender or attacker, uh, other than Amaru, I guess, would um, is not going to be able to come from meeting directly up to the attic area anymore. So that's important to know as well. But the big thing is that uh, for attackers or defenders, this area right here is, becomes a lot more accessible. Now, for defenders, I do highly recommend that as part of the prep phase, you just open that and give yourself a rotate. And you might think, well, you're helping out the attackers if you do that, but the attackers will always be able to come in this window right here. So no matter what, they're going to have access to this area, so I don't really feel like opening this rotate by default. 
really helps them at all and it's just going to help you so that it's available later in the round if you need to do a late rotate and you know maybe come behind the attackers as they're pushing down this way but for attackers this opens up a whole nother way to attack this objective it used to be very predictable as far as attackers would have to either come from master bedroom side the big window um or the white stairs really was 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 um you know the most popular attacks now there's a lot more options here because of this simple little doorway that they put into uh the upstairs objective here Okay, moving on to the third thing that you need to know about the organ rework, and that is that they have now connected this big tower area here with the kitchen. You can see as we come around this corner that this uh, doorway here that used to just end right here and go into the meeting area now has a hallway that connects it to a doorway that goes into the kitchen area. So this is a brand new doorway right here and a new connection between these two areas. And uh, by the way, you're seeing the brand new site here, which is the meeting and kitchen objective. Now this connection, uh, this doorway is going to be really important when both defending and attacking this objective, but it's gonna be really important overall because again, it's just a new connection, a new way to rotate around this map. Uh, definitely be aware for both attackers and defenders, there is a window right here. So if that's open, it can kind of cut off these rotations but definitely a new way to connect from big tower to the rest of the map and something that was definitely needed and is going to help out both sides a lot okay for the fourth thing that you need to know about the oregon rework we're actually going to combine the first three things that we talked about and just kind of make a gameplay assumption on how the new organ is going to play different than the old organ and that is that either as a defender or an attacker you're just going to have a lot more freedom to move around the map and a lot more options when you're looking at rotates now to demonstrate this we're actually going back to the old organ that's where we're at right now you may recognize this we're actually in the dining area of the old organ map and right now if I, as a defender, want to rotate from here to the big tower without using any soft destruction, my options are extremely limited, okay? So we talked before, um, the first thing we mentioned about the uh, organ rework is that there's a new staircase right here. Well, that doesn't exist, clearly. Um, this is the, the white stairs that we talked about, so no staircase. Uh, and then when we go over here to kitchen, there is no longer a uh, connection between this and the big tower, okay? so. If, again, if I'm wanting to go from here to Big Tower, my only option without using some type of soft destruction is to go over here and either come through this doorway into meeting and into the Big Tower for like this or to come back over here to the main lobby area, go down what I call the main stairs through the laundry room and all the way back to the big tower this way okay so yes it's definitely possible to rotate uh, of course from the dining area to the big tower but you can see that how easy that would be for attackers to cut that off okay so if i'm a defender over here in the dining area and i get droned out a good attacking team basically only has to hold this choke point right here and then if they do that, they know that I am not going to be able to rotate anywhere on the other side of the map as far as big tower or anywhere over there. Um, even if I go upstairs and come back down these stairs, I still have to come through this area. So this choke point right here cuts off all of my rotations. Okay, so now we're back on the reworked Oregon. And once again, we are in this dining area. And again, let's try and rotate from here to the big tower and see what our options are. Uh, now we have this corridor over here, which we showed before in the video. You can just take this short little hallway right here that uh, goes by the meeting and then connects to big tower. So that's a really quick rotate right there. And because there's the new staircase over here, that gives us another option uh, just to hit the staircase up that's underneath of the white stairs and we'll go through the freezer area here and eventually end up in the big tower and i think that that's really the big thing that i'm hoping you take away from this video and i, I think this perfectly demonstrates uh just what i've been saying and that is that you know for defenders and attackers this map now has a lot more options when it comes to rotating okay um again on the old oregon no matter what i did unless i had some type of soft destruction i ended up having to come through here at some point and on the new organ that's just not the case i have so many more options as a defender 
and if I get droned out while I'm on this side of the map, then I have options and I can realistically evade the attackers and live to fight another day. Okay, for the fifth thing that you need to know about the Oregon rework, we're again going to be talking about how this map's going to play different than the old Oregon. And I think that it's really important that you realize that hard breach is much more important on the new Oregon than the old Oregon, and that the priorities for that hard breacher are much different than they used to be. For example, as you can see on the screen right now, this bottom objective, it used to be the number one priority for the hard breacher was to get this hatch. Well, this hatch has now been moved and you can no longer plant underneath of it. So that really changes the priority for the hard breacher when attacking this bottom floor objective. Instead of making the first priority that hatch, it might be more important to go after one of these sidewalls um, that's new, that didn't exist before, but that can really open up a lot of line of sights into the objective and make the defenders uncomfortable. Uh, and the same is true for the other sites as well. As you look throughout the entire map, uh, if you're attacking the kitchen now, they, they've removed one of the doorways that came from that kind of main lobby area into the kitchen but they've added a lot of soft walls there so uh, if the defenders are in that kitchen and defending that those walls are very likely to be reinforced and the hard breacher is probably going to want to go and try and open some of that up there's also the hatch there that comes down in the kitchen and uh, that might be important for the hard breacher just it's really important to know that if you are playing hard breacher on the new organ what was important on the old organ might not be nearly as important anymore and that your job as a hard breacher is probably going to be more important overall okay that is going to do it for the five things you need to know about the organ rework hopefully this will allow you to have a good understanding about what has changed and you won't be surprised the first time you see this in ranked for operation void edge keep an eye on this channel over the next few days i'm going to be having more informational videos coming your way right here uh, all about all the new stuff that's coming with operation void edge the changes that are coming to familiar operators as well as the new operators again keep an eye right here uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one